Hey guys, Ryzen here. Welcome back to uh, Grandia. Well, let's play Grandia. Well, let's take a look at. Uh, so I can show you that I did that little bit of micro grinding. Normally, I'm further off, further ahead than that of my magic, but whatever. Only took me like five minutes at most. Just kind of went back into the the mountains area and the first screen and just fought like I don't know four or five enemy encounters so that's what everybody looks like now if you're curious rare occasions I just don't quite get my grinding or my levels uh, reached <laughs> my leveling goals reached so uh, the llama mountains by the way to Gumbo Village now. Uh oh. I hear frogs. I no. <laughs> uh frogs. Oh man, the water looks terrible on the island like that. It's like weird frog statues here. It's so weird. This place is this place is weird, guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, here we are in Gumbo. We gotta find a boatman and go to Twin Towers by the Sea. It's cold. What do you mean it's cold? Yeah, where's the party? Watch who! All right, whatever. We'll find a boat, man. Should we go to the tool shed? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's get some shopping done. Sup? All right. No, seriously. Let's uh, let's go buy something here. Not much that I want to buy, but we want to buy a, a frog axe. It's such a weird thing. Uh, we want to buy... Yeah, you can buy rain staff if you somehow didn't have one. But I guess I'd pick one up if you didn't have one. But wait, we do have one, right? No, we have the orgo staff. Yeah, that's right. No, I wouldn't get that. All right, well, we want to get the... Uh, the uh, Azure Knife. No, we don't want to get the Rain Staff because I think we can find one in a drop in the next area. I think. I want to just go ahead and equip that right on now on uh, Fina. Uh, wait, do I want to equip it on Fina? Whatever, I'll just buy it for now. I'll have to look at my notes. But anyway. Azure Knife is a water elemental knife, so it's useful in the next area. And we want to buy three Dragon Vests. Now, they are a little bit weaker than everything we've got here, but I still want to equip them. Hold on to your old armor because it's, well, better. Well, except for... No, nah, I'm still going to hold on to the Fairy Robe. I think that has an extra effect on it. I forget, but... Anyway, take the defense law... Game? How dare you? All right, whatever. Let's see if we can drop something. Um... Yeah, we can drop that silence orb. That's totally useless to us. Okay. Now, equip the dragon vest on Justin, on Sue, and on Fina. If you'd like to, you could buy one for Gadwin, but I don't ever buy anything for Gadwin. Oh, the magic shield. That's an interesting item. Uh, what? Our piece of armor. I want to take a look at that. Uh, this reflects normal attacks. You might think... That is a good piece of armor. I don't like it, and here's why. You are doing damage to the enemy without getting experience for it. You don't. There's no shield experience in the game. And I don't think it gives you weapon experience at all. In fact, it doesn't. So, it's not worth it. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't bother. 
So, effectively, it costs you potential experience points. Don't get any closer. What? He asked a simple question. What do you mean? Yeah, that was strange. Well, let's ask somebody else about the boat. Yo, uh, we're looking for a boat uh, to take us to the Twin Towers. Uh, you... Who runs the boats around here? Huh? What? Yeah. P pretty sure she's a little young for you, but... Okay. <laughs> that artwork for Fina. What? Are you saying Fina's male? Okay, look. I know there's and androgynous characters in JRPGs, but... Grandy is pretty good at, at distinguishing between the male and the female characters here. They're not... They're not, uh... There really isn't an androgynous character in this game, in this series, is there? Maybe Rowan in too, but not really. <laughs> yeah, you're so masculine. What? Shut up, Gadwin. Seriously, she's wearing what is effectively a bra, okay? I'm pretty sure you can't confuse her for a male character. You're not helping the situation, Gadwin. A matador of love. What? A man- what, what the hell is going on here? Big sis. Mother. What? Does Fina look like... <laughs> okay. Look, I know Fina's older than Justin, but she ain't that much older than Justin. Jeez, they're about the same age here. I mean, she didn't have Justin when she was two. Puppet of love. A woman. What? What is going on here? Yeah, this place is weird. What about this kid? Oh, no. Not that. A couple. Yeah, not really. What are you talking about? You can't... Talk to a girl? What? Huh? Yeah, this this place actually has interesting people to talk to, so I want to show it off. Huh. Oh, right, um... For the sake of convenience, I, I highly recommend that Justin have... Let's see... Uh... Oh, he's got some Himmler equipped here, right? Uh, yeah, that's... Oh no, the dragon killer's better. Uh, I screwed that up. Okay. Adjust it with the stronger sword. Um... Hold on a second, I gotta rearrange my equipment and I'll be right back. Okay, I just did a couple of changes to my inventory here. Uh... Essentially, because of how the next area starts, I just want to make sure that Justin has access to the Dragon Killer, the Oracle Staff, 
and the, uh, or the Holy Mace, but I, Orgo Step's a little stronger. And the Klep Sickle. So, take a look at that. They're all in his inventory. Yes. They are. And for, for Fina, I want to make sure she has access to the Azure Knife and the Gale Whip. Yes, and accessory-wise, I just moved Justin back to the office, or moved him to the officer's badge, since Fina now has the Demon Eye Stone. And that's pretty good. And make sure you already have the Dragon Vests equipped on uh, Justin and Fina as well. You'll see why pretty soon. Love birds. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I guess. Whatever. I think we go into this tent. Uh, no, I'm incorrect. Where do we go? We need to head southwest and somewhere in the elders tent, which is. Over there, I think. Unless it's right here. That's possible. No, that's the dining hall. Nope. Okay. Okay. There are nobody's a couple. What are you talking about? Are you guys not allowed to have relationships? That's strange. Two men. You're you're dizzy from what? Okay. You covered yourself in mud? Just not talk to a girl? What about you? Hot springs. There's the chief's house. Well, that's enough screwing around. Oh god. Honored guests. Gagman, did you send a carrier pigeon or something on ahead? No, the the older one. You're a little too young for Justin Sue. No. Just kiss. Well, then again, you two did walk out of a wedding hall together. But thou must. But thou must. That's no harm. I mean, you two go good together, right? Yay! We get a feast. Awesome. Oh, no. I'll be using the knife on the boss. Okay. I'm still going to use a whip normally. Oh, God. He's going to sing. For five years? Uh, that's rough. Huh. Oh my god. That's your dancing animation? And you guys thought Final Fantasy 2 had a bad dancing animation in its ending. <laughs> uh, I should let's play that game one of these days.
Yay! That sounded horrible. Yay! Alright. What else is going on? Nah, no, nah, it was pretty bad. Ooh, a walk outside, huh? Damn right. How are you guys doing? Oh, so now they're all, like, together. Huh. Why did they need, like, a brave couple to have couples cheering from us from here? What are you talking about? Um. What? Nina? Or Nana? Huh. Well, you must be more important. You have a portrait. I guess. Can you go talk to the other guys? I don't think you can. Um. You don't want to see anymore. Uh. Can I talk to... She's right next to you! What the hell is going on here? Alright, let's get out of here. This place is weird. <laughs> I love this town, actually. It's probably... It's one of the most interesting areas in the game. Aww. Nice little flames here. So I think we're supposed to go to the beach to advance I think if I'm not mistaken there's a reason I uh, shopped before the festival start although I think you can shop right now if you'd like but uh, I usually do my shopping beforehand Maybe I'm thinking of something later. Are you supposed to just talk to him again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to talk to him again. But we can talk to people some more. I'm not going to go through the dungeon today. Well, I am going to go through it today, but not in this episode. So not for you guys today, but for me, yeah. I'm thinking of something later on where you have to walk to, like, the beach. I hope you guys don't mind me screwing around in this town, but this is, like, my favorite town in the game. Ooh. There's a little island there. Let's... Let's remember that for later. That, that might be important. Can we go over here? Yeah, remember this island for later. Even though the water looks horrible on it. I know it's supposed to be, like, simulated waves coming in and... Uh, coming to and back, but it doesn't look good at all. Like, these waves look better. Even though you can tell it's literally just the same waves over and over again. But it looks better than on the island. Alright, let's go back and talk to the Elder so we can advance. I wouldn't know what's going on, you know? I wonder what they uh, are talking about. Oh, no, we gotta... That's the guest house, but we gotta actually advance the plot. Yeah, I don't think maybe you can't buy, because I don't think you can actually go into the shop right now. Ah, damn it. Where's the Elder's house? As much as I love this town, I still get confused with where we're going. Ah, I think it's over here. That's a regular house, right? Yeah. now what do you got to say okay then oh it's a cool looking statue I don't know why the frogs are around I, I don't know man my sense of direction is non-existent it's okay we'll find it 
Ah, here we go. Oh, we're not looking for the elder's house. We're looking for the greeting tent. Sorry. <laughs> I read in my notes, go talk to the elder. I'm like, oh yeah, the elder's in the greeting tent. All right. Let's, uh, when you're ready to advance, go to bed. Make sure your equipment's all set up. Oh, no, I think we actually can, uh, we can buy after the festival. Okay. Oh, God. Let's uh, stash some items here while we're thinking. Army Saber, we don't need any more. I'm going to hold on to this stuff. Oh, yeah, the Fairy Robe protects against confusion and sleep, so I might want that for later. I don't know. Oh, the hail bow. You could actually give that to Justin if you'd like right now, but I don't think it's worthwhile. But it's something to consider. Wood axe. We're not going to fight any plants, so put that away. At this point, I really don't think some of these accessories are worthwhile. Don't think we're going to need those. Oh, get the yellow... Sorry, the cat got, like, spooked. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'll double check my equipment here. Yeah, and then you got the Azure Knife and the Gale Whip, right? Yes. Yeah, I just like having the hail bow on Gadwin because he doesn't have access to ice normally. I may actually use it against the boss. Prob no, actually I probably will because I don't think Dragon Cut works, so I think I will use it against the boss. That's pretty much all you can do. Yeah, why are they treating us with such respect? What do you mean a bad feeling? Oh, come on. You're just being paranoid, Fina. It's a party. Did I just leave town? Whoops. I love this town. <laughs> Can you buy things yet, right now? Yes, if you need to buy things, do it now. Go back to the greetings tent, I, I believe. Which is where? Uh... I don't know. I don't think we're going to the dining hall. No. Not that way. I forget if we go to the elder's house or if we go to... Maybe you go to the chief's house. I don't remember. Nope. It's definitely the tent. Where the tent is, I never remember. I think it's just the way the hand camera's angled. It really throws me off on my directions, even with a compass. You get to say. Well, we are. We're, we're, we're a couple now, apparently. I don't know. Let's just accept it, Fina. No ifs, ands, or buts about it now. Aha, here we are. Why do I, like, have trouble finding this? I have no idea. Oh, God.
Wow. Alright, well, they all seem very happy. It's strange, the day before they were all... kind of... afraid of the opposite gender. Very strange. Cheer us on. Why? We're, we're totally fine, guys. I mean, don't worry about it. The finale. Yeah, sure. I mean, of course we're ready. What do we do, you know? Sing a little song? Dance? Uh, I mean, do we... I don't know. Hold hands and walk on the beach? I mean, is that what we do here? Yeah, maybe they just need, like, one symbolic kiss or something. Oh, yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, cool. So they're just going to sit there, and I guess they just get worshipped or something. Sounds pretty cool. Y yeah? Oh, a fire dragon, huh? Eh, well, that's cool, but... Sacrifice! You, you you didn't you didn't say anything. You know, I get the feeling he wasn't forgetful. I think he lied. I feel like I've been denied critical information here. What is that? What are you doing? Okay, well, can we just get a ship? What 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 just happened? What just happened? What what? What? Oh god. Ah! Don't worry, Sue and Gavin will catch up. <laughs> uh, we end up right inside the sky. What is with that pose? Why are you two just still sitting? I like how they flipped Justin's portrait act or artwork. Well, excuse me, princess. Well, they do say opposites attract. Less like magnets. So, uh... Youch! You hit your fanny? Oh my god. Really? That's how you translated falling on your ass? Did you, first of all, how did you hit your butt when you're sitting on your knees? Also, Justin's dead. Oh, never mind. What did he do? He just had a banquet. You know, maybe if they told us about this fire dragon, we could have killed them. Now, there actually is a chest here that you can't get. Uh, on the first trip, but it's a quick revisit to just get it. You can't actually leave. Uh, I'm not going to grab that chest right now. Oh, there is a nice little uh, thing here. So, yeah, we're going to save up. Uh, leveling goals. Oh, God. That music is super distracting and loud in my head. Um, maybe I should have looked at this ahead of time, huh? Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I want to finish off Wind to level 23 for Justin. I think that's basically it for his swords. Or for his Wind. Yeah, 23. Don't care about his physical attacks. Just going to focus solely on Wind here. Sue. Going to get her Wind up to 20. Yep, that's pretty good. 
Athena. Let's see. Uh, well, her fire is already level 23, which is good. I don't think she has really anything to work on. Yeah, Fina is in a rough spot here. Like, I guess I'll work on her earth and maybe her whips a little bit, but not going to do too much. No, you know, I might actually... You know what? Her... No, I think a lot of enemies here are weak to wind. Yeah, I'm going to keep working on her uh, whips for now. We'll see. I don't really work on too much on Fina. I don't work on Gadwin at all here. At least very little. Alright. Pretty much all just Justin's wind here. Alright. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching this episode. And, uh... Wow. <laughs> see you next time for the volcano. Take care.